Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The ultimate movie championship. Episode 84 of the show where Keith and I sit down, Keith Spurlock and myself, we sit down. We're given two movies at random. We must argue and fight and choose which of those two movies is better and should be added on top of our ultimate movie list, which we are constantly refining. And you can see the list over at flickchart.com slash IDP. Let's see how it all plays out in this episode right now. Starting off with a hell of a matchup. I'm telling you what. Coyote Ugly versus Blade. Blade. Yep. One of the few times I'll go with Blade. <laughs> Maybe if like Crossroads comes up, I'll go with Blade again. <laughs> uh Anchorman, Legend of Ron Burgundy versus X Files, I want to believe from two thousand eight. Uh Anchorman There was a second X Men X Men X Files movie recently. There's been two. What? There was one in I think that might that might be the second one. I think if there is a second one, it was There's that two, one. though. What? I'm pretty sure there's two. Let's see. Why? I just think one came out, like, way late. I think it was around the time they released, like, a few new episodes. They did a few new episodes, and it just wasn't yeah, received Yeah, but that was, well. like, two or three years ago. Yeah. This is 08. Yeah, but I know they did. Wait, X-Files. Okay. TV, TV movie in 2016 is TV movie. Okay. There's a TV movie. X-Files movie night is what it's called. I don't know. Uh, I don't give a shit. Who cares? Uh, I mean, Ron Burgundy. Anchorman, I mean. A whale's vagina. Yes, man. Uh, Is that where he says yes Red to Bull? everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Red Bull scene where he's running and drinking a bunch of Red Bulls and photography and he goes to the like a seminar and yeah like a, a Tony Robbins kind and of a thing say yes to everything yeah. and kind of fun it's like uh, it's, it's kind of okay. like yeah, uh, liar liar it. but not for kids I watched it Batman Be- versus Batman Begins Batman Begins Batman Begins that's the uh, the first that's the first one yeah. Where he yes, is man wasn't bad, the though. least growly out of all three of them. Yeah. It's like he turned up the bat growl yeah. for the next two. Well, I don't know. Uh, Peter Pan, the animated uh, movie, versus SWAT, the, uh, the 2003 uh, remake or reboot of the show. Right? There was a show, SWAT? I, I, I think it... I, I don't know. I didn't it, mind SWAT too much. It was kind of a fun action movie. It was, it was whatever. It, was whatever. it, it wasn't... Peter Pan. Yeah. Talk about some racist shit. Disney classic. Yeah. So there's some racist shit in that. Probably uh, it's from the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, just the Indian scene is... Rocky Three versus A Christmas Carol. I've never seen A Christmas Carol. No, it's... Uh, and which... I don't know which... Oh, that's the Mr. T one. Yeah. Which I don't really remember, but, you know, it could still beat some shit. Well... Rocky Three versus Talk Rain about Man, Mister T. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. <laughs> With uh, the collectible trading cards still inside. Yeah. Uh, so Rocky Three versus Rain Man. Rain, Rain Man. Man. Yeah. Rocky Three could be some shit, but it's not going to win a lot. Of I think those Rocky fights. One beats Rain Man. I uh, that's a lot closer. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want that matchup to necessarily. Uh, the Dark Knight versus Mallrats. Damn it. The Dark Knight. Yeah. I love Mallrats. I like Mallrats. Mallrats is probably my favorite Kevin Smith. Mm, I don't think it's, it's... I don't know. Those A lot of his early stuff is all kind of good, but I don't know. Ranking it all. Uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids versus How to Train Your Dragon, a.k.a. Dick. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I really loved How to Train Your Dragon. It wasn't bad, but it was I was good. also like, 
and Honey, I Shrunk Your Kids, I probably haven't watched since I was early teenager. I don't think I've watched it as an adult ever. So I don't know how it holds up. I don't know how it's probably corny as shit. And How I Train Your Dragon, I've probably how I Train watched Your it once. I've watched that a few times, but it's a great movie. It's really great uh, action scenes too for a uh, for a fucking animated movie. Versus a childhood movie that I have fond memories of, but, uh, you know, it's out of the fond memory childhood movies, I have not revisited it. So it's it's the weakest of the childhood I'm sticking movies. with Honey, I Shrunk Your Kid, or Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I just, I, I know, I know I've seen How to Train Your Dragon all the yeah. way through. I know the dragon's called Toothless. I know Jay Barron, or... Jay Baron something is the voice of the kid. God damn it. What is his name? I don't he's know. in Goon. Uh, I don't know. He's Seth Rogen's buddy. He's right. in Knocked Up. Yeah. And I think I know what you're talking about. The but skinny dude? Name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah he's, in a, he's in a lot of shit, but I don't know his the name. The end of the world one. It was Seth Rogen's friend that came to came out there to fucking hang out with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm How to Train a Dragon. Look it up. All right. Honey, I shrunk my dick. Okay. Fucking. Seventy five percent. Not bad. No. How to train your dick. Jay Baruchel is his name. Jesus 98%. Christ. 98%. Come on. Yeah, I wasn't too worried about that one, but. Yeah. Maybe if I rewatched no, no it. No love I, for Rick Moranis. Hey, I love Rick Moranis, but, you know, give me fucking Ghostbusters. At least that's a, uh, that's a good movie I've watched many times throughout my life and very recently. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind versus Casino. Casino. I like Close Encounters of the yeah, Third Kind, but I'm, I, I don't know. It's I'm, not. Casino is also one of my. It's like, it's so fucking long. Oh, well, I don't think Close Encounters is very short. No. I think it's a. No, I don't think it's as long as Casino. I'll go though. with Casino. But pacing of Close Encounters is very slow. Both of these are like, oh, yeah. it parts. I would ra- if both of these were on, I'm going with Casino. Probably. Like, I've seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and I'm good. I don't, like, revisiting it. I'd revisit Casino, though. And it's definitely low resolution, and I've seen the Photoshop, too, but I can only see Ronda Rousey in the Casino poster now. <laughs> but there's also been that Photoshop Steve guy's done a bunch with... I think it was like her, Edmund, and probably Travis. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Casino. Indiana or Raiders of the Lost Ark, technically. It's Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, but I think the poster, but I think technically that's just the names Raiders of the Lost Ark. Versus V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta. A movie that I enjoyed when it came out, but haven't been able to rewatch it. I can't. Not that I haven't had tried. I've tried it a I've few times too. Put it on and it's like, oh, this is this is not very good. It's exhausting. Yeah. Uh, There's like one or two cool fight scenes in it, and then it's just like extended monologue from it's behind a mask. Slow. Yeah, I don't know. The guy Fox mask is the best part of that movie. Uh versus the second best Indiana Jones movie? Yeah. Right it's that the, this and is the, the third one, one are kind of I say that I like the third one better. I do too. With but this Sean one's, Connery. This one's really good. This one's so good. It's the second best. Yeah, this is the second best one. Um and it's, then It's weird that a trilogy is is that it's like well, it's not a trilogy, the, though. Indiana Jones is totally a trilogy. Well, god damn it. Yeah. All right. And they're not even like... Qua- the second one isn't like taking off from the first one. 
It's a Which prequel is, to the first one. They're different one. stories within this Indiana Jones. It's like serials. It's not like trilogies are like this story happened and this. It's basically three parts. And then there's th- 14 endings if you're watching Lord of the Rings. Uh, Indiana Jones. For sure. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Ransom versus South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. South Park for sure. Yeah, give me back, I like Ransom though. Give me back my son. Yeah, I liked Ransom. Fuck you. It was a fun movie. Uh, Dodgeball versus Children of Men. Ooh, interesting. Huh. Comedy versus. Like uh, independent drama, drama, yeah. But sci-fi, fi- sci-fi no, drama. I wouldn't say sci-fi. Maybe um, dystopian. Well, there's science fiction in it where people can't reproduce anymore. I mean, that's it's very much a sci-fi. It's not like spaceship sci-fi, but it's you know it's still sci-fi. That's a hard one. Because I really like Dodgeball. Mm-hmm. I just rewatched Children of Men recently. Funnier movies. Yeah. But I mean, there's way better Dodge movies than Ball. Children of Men, too. It's Dodgeball like literally started Dodgeball tournaments being broadcast on TV at the time. I, mean, I remember Children watching was some ju- of those. I think of a lot of the reason a lot of people like Children of Men so much is because. It was just one of those movies that no one really heard of. So if you heard of it, you're like, oh, it's a good movie. Yeah. So I think it, it is a good movie. It's a, it's a good movie. It's not great. Neither of these movies are great. No. Well, I mean, they're great. They're both great, but they're not like at the top end of yeah. their greatness. I think I'm going to go with Dodgeball just for the funny. Yeah. I kind of lean in that way. Like literally, I kind of go just, either way. It's really mood shit. Fucking, yeah, I I agree on that. If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. I mean, it's kind of like slapsticky uh-huh. goofball comedy, which it's pretty rare that those come out that are any good. Um, and another Ben Stiller, it's like a guy that's like unlikable but can't stop liking him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm good with dodgeball. If you could dodge a Molotov cocktail, you can give birth. Uh, have you ever seen Joyride? Yeah, I have. All right. Once. Candy cane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was working at the theater. It's the only reason. Paul Walker and fucking uh, Steve, Zahn. Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn. I like there was the, a he had, window. He had a nice window. Of- it was when I was working at at the theater. He, like, he, ha- he was like starting to come out. I was like, oh, Steve Zahn. I love Steve Zahn. And then he's like disappeared. That, Although I heard he's in that thing you do uh, was around then. Uh, I think he's coming out with something. He's supposed to be great in it. He or was in, somebody was just making it. He joke. was in a comedy with Martin Lawrence, Blue Steel, Blue Streak, or Blue Streak. He was in. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he oh, Dallas in- Buyers Club. I don't really remember him in that. I, I kind of do, I guess. Perfect Getaway. I never saw Sahara. Let's see. Oh, he's gonna be in War for the Planet of the Apes. Oh, that's the one. He's supposed his performance is supposed to be great in that. Which that movie is supposed to be great. That franchise is like one of the best franchises. I know it's coming up going on, on just right fucking now. being like it might surpass a few of the the huge classics. Like wow, he didn't he's really doing do the Wimpy m- Kid shit, but he really didn't do much after like. Uh, Strange Wilderness, I think, yeah. was the last thing I saw him in. Um, he's never a lead, really. I think Happy Texas he was in or something like that. Daddy Daycare. I mean, he, he works. That's a lot of he's kids' not, movies. Yeah. A lot, a lot of Which kids' movies. Which he is movies. kind of... He was always the comedy relief in the, the movies. Yeah. So, but yeah. Shit, he was in You Fuck Got Mail. Yeah, Happy Texas. <laughs> Safe Men. From the Earth to the Moon, which was a cool TV series. Reality Bites, that was like one of his first. Yeah. Well, yeah, 
Uh, I mean, he's working pretty consistently. He's getting paid, just not doing anything. But I heard his 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 uh, ape his, performance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember where I heard that, but it was like kind of a weird thing to hear. Like, like hey, Steve does Zahn? everyone remi- remember Steve Zahn? Because like, I'll hear like a uh, fucking uh, Jeff Tate is a huge. I think Jeff Tate, one of the regulars on Doug Loves Movies. Um, he loves Steve Zahn. Like he brings it up a lot. Uh, one of the few people that bring up Steve Zahn. Uh, so Joyride versus Swing Away. Swing Away, Joaquin Phoenix signs, which I like signs. It did it corny, the Swing Away shit, whatever. It was super suspenseful moments. And the aliens trapped in the fucking pantry, and then that scene cuts the fingers off. Super super suspenseful. Joyride is just a generic whatever. Yeah. Horror oh, movie. there's a trucker coming after you. And it was pretty fun, but it, it was, was okay. Uh, I'll go with Signs. Yeah, signs. But I don't like either one of these movies. I'd let it. I'd let it be known. Yeah, they're they're boring. I would wouldn't mind watching either of them. Oh, here, here's a boring one. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance versus The Shining. <coughs> Die Hard with a Vengeance. I gotta get The Shining. I know you. You don't like it. I mean, it's just and I love Die it's Hard. It's boring but as to fuck. To me, I love The Shining. Die more. Hard with a Vengeance is my favorite Die Hard. Samuel Jackson is fucking the best, and just the Simon Says. Just the no, whole, I get it. I, I love, love that. Movie. I love that movie. Yeah, but it's my like, second. Fa- it's my second favorite Die Hard. I would go with all the original Die Hards. I would go with Over the Shining. I know Shining's just I, so boring. I like so it. boring. Uh, but then it's got like interesting things if you watch a documentary on but why cans I are was, faced a I certain was way, way more interested in it before I saw that stupid ass no, documentary. No. It's just uh, it's he's got in a, fact, he's got that, a unique some of that aesthetic, documentary but, I just scoffed at. I'm like, all right, everyone's nitpicking too much about like everything always means something to Kubrick and oh, I'm yeah. like all right. And chill it probably and I'm sure it did. But doesn't make that movie better. It's still slow as fuck. It's still like, I I don't know. It's just so boring, so boring. And then things happen. It's like oh, red rum. Oh shit! One of my favorite suspense movies. I won't even call it a horror movie. It's just more of a suspense movie. Oh no! It's like I mean, as far as this, I should have watched that. That would passed out yesterday. For sure, would have fallen asleep. I mean, it's long too, but it, I just I would have passed the fuck out. I you know, woke up sporadically because all the the actual suspense parts, which are the quick parts, are just extremely loud out of nowhere. Then that's just that's not being scary. That's just using audio to scare you. That's like jump scares in like scream movies. It's like that's not suspense. Suspense draws you in. Suspense isn't something that just happens. Suspense is like, <gasps> what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? But this one is like first time I, I saw The Shining. Care. That's what I was like. I was going, "What's happening? What is happening?" Okay, he's riding his. That'd be fun, riding my my go kart thing around a hotel. Oh, there's girls. That's scary. Oh, they're so scary. Oh, blood's coming out. Just, that's weird. What's going on? That's not scary. Oh, I was shit, scared. Scary. I mean, it was when he was trying to chop through the door, like the one scene that's good, you know, but die hard with a vengeance all day. I mean, it's just fun to watch and I fucking, I'm not, I'm not going for like, Ooh, cinema. I have no desire to watch the shining. It's like, good. I appreciate good film, good filmmaking at least. I mean, I I have no, I I it's one of the movies I watched the shining just like 2001 space odyssey. I saw it. I'm good don't need to see it again i'm good with it didn't like it not something i want to like put myself through to sit through and try and stay awake versus die hard with a vengeance is just like one of the last fun die hard movies literally still going the shining all right well let's see what rotten tomatoes thinks of both of these <laughs> be interesting Eighty-seven percent. Not bad. Uh, 
Die Hard with a Vengeance coming in at 51. 51. That's bullshit. Well, that's just... Critics don't... St- I, I mean, it's a fucking action movie. But yeah, it's an action movie. It's like comedies. You're not going to get like... Unless it's some. I mean, guaranteed the the majority of the, the Hangover movies aren't scored very well. Maybe the first one just because it made a shitload of money. And they're like, oh, it's it's decent it's it's a really fun comedy finally uh all right the shining woohoo the shining Ugh, i'd rather take a shin to the head uh, i've never seen that herpy goes to monte carlo no I the think last I samurai which i am not the biggest fan of i have not mud. seen mud it's all right I've not Rio 2 it. I don't think I've seen Rio 1. I don't either. I have seen Gattaca. Gattaca versus The Last Samurai. I mean, Gattaca. Gattaca. Gattaca's like... I mean, I like both of these movies, but Gattaca is, is I don't know, w- way better of a movie. I Sci-fi. Like, I like the Gattaca. Minimalist kind of a movie. But I like Last Samurai. Euro trip, yes. Versus, not Sergeant York. The first, the first Halloween. Halloween. I know I've seen it, but I'll go Euro trip. Yeah, Euro trip. Euro trip. I thought was is all right. Almost better than road trip. Oof, I wouldn't go nearly that close. Road trip. I love way better than Euro trip. But as far as like just using a franchise and just like rebranding it on a different comedy, like I go Euro trip any day over like. All it, of the fucking all the American Pie, American Pie spinoff <laughs> ones. All the fucking like anything that has National Lampoons on it now is dog shit. Like they just you 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 pay so you can use that name and then it's it's just they don't mean anything anymore. Uh, Witness, seen that? It's with the Amish. Kid, Amish, right? yeah, 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 yeah. He goes. He's like hiding from. It's been so long since I've seen it, but yeah, he's in the witness protection, hiding in an Amish community, which is fucking brilliant. Yeah. Versus uh, American History X, which is a phenomenal movie, and I'm gonna vote for that. Yeah, American History X. Although American History X is also one of those movies, I don't really want to watch it. That. I used to watch that. I've watched it. Uh, every, I watched it a lot. I used to watch that and Team America on Fourth of July. Ah, uh-huh. because you know, the American. Know. Fuck it. In the title, it's like yeah. Did you watch American Psycho too? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a. Uh, American History X. This is a good movie. And Edward it, Norton. I mean, it's independent. Fucking. It's pretty rough to watch. Like, uh, oh, especially yeah. the beginning when he tells him to bite the curb. <sighs> and they they specifically have the sound of the teeth scraping oh. on the concrete. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's that that suspense that makes your butthole pucker. That makes you go. Oh, and it's all black and white. It's a uh, you know, or at least that was just the those first, scenes. It's the I think all the flashbacks yeah, yeah, yeah. are in black and white. Yeah. Uh, Edward Furlong, yeah, yeah. W- one of his last movies before and, uh, he uh, hit the drugs way too hard. Now he looks like a forty-year-old, forty-five-year-old yeah. woman. Um, and it had one of the dudes from My Name Is Earl. Yeah, the fat dude, uh, yeah. Ethan Suppler. Yeah, uh, American History X. Pitch Black versus Speaking of the Boring Devil, uh, two thousand one. A Space Odyssey, uh, Pitch Black, All Day, All Night. Yeah, Pitch Black. I, I lo- would even I lo- go with the Riddick. Movie. Well, I guess would I don't think I've seen any of them, but even that, I'd still go Riddick's movies over 2001: A Space Odyssey. Just a boring movie. Boring. Uh, Braveheart versus Death Proof. Interesting. The the Tarantino Grindhouse movie. I gotta and go Braveheart. Braveheart. Yeah, Braveheart. For sure. I like Death Proof, but. Deep Impact versus Walk the Line. I gotta go Walk the Line. Yeah, Walk the Line. I'm not the Armageddon B side. Deep Impact. Morgan Freeman was the president. I know. Fucking what's his face had a dirt bike. 
Uh, Elijah Wood? Yeah, it's either him or the other guy. Probably Elijah Wood. Yeah, yeah like that we was knew before about Radcliffe. Harry Potter yet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Elijah Wood's like 20 years older than him anyway. Yeah, but they don't look it. No. They look, they look like he was like his older brother without the accent. Little nymphs. Tiny little men. Good actors, though. Saving my choice. No, saving your choice, bitch. Stop saving and start playing, motherfucker. We're trying to celebrate America a couple days yeah. late. It's going to skip. It's going to skip. It's going to skip. That's right. It skipped. Ooh, Sister Act versus The Wrestler. Now, I was religious when Sister Acts came out, and I loved those movies, or at least the first one. I loved it, man. I liked it. Oh, happy day. That oh, could be the happy day when Jesus washed. When Jesus washed, he washed no, our sins away. I liked Whoopi washed Goldberg our sins back away. then, just in yeah. general. And I was like, a kid. Yeah. I I mean, it was a kid's movie. Yeah. Um, But very, like, I. And it's not the first time it's a movie where somebody's going to hide out as nuns. Like, dudes have already done that in comedies. There's I can't a, think of the name of those movies, but I know it's it's, it's not a new thing. It's happened. Um, I'm going The Wrestler for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cool. Sister Act was a fun musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comedy, right, Sister but... Act could beat some shit. I don't know what, but it could beat Peach Dragon maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. So Peach Dragon, the animated one, I've not seen, nor do I care to see the reboot. There's a real live version? Yeah, they just came out. I think it was the past year. It's uh, similar to like, you know, um... I guess not really Jungle Book, but it was CG with a real kid. Like live action with a CG character. I get you. Uh, versus The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai. Yeah, I guess. Pete's Dragon was not one of my favorite. I remember watching it, but it was like... it was Yeah, it wasn't on heavy rotation by any means. Gattaca's back versus another uh, Nicholas, Jack Nicholson uh, movie. As good as it gets, the uh, OCD rom com, yeah, with uh, Helen Hunt, I believe, it wasn't bad, but I, Gattaca, yeah, Gattaca. Although I'd go, I'd for sure go if this was as good as it gets versus um, the boring one that came up with them before, The Shining, for sure, as good as it gets. Uh, oh shit, Mrs. Doubtfire versus me. As a blind black man with a heroin problem. Who's really good at the piano and singing. Yeah. Man. This is an easy one for me. I love Miss Doubtfire when I was yeah. a kid, but Ray is a fucking... It's a great movie. Ray wins hands down for me. Yeah. All right. All right. Avatar versus Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. crap Avatar. Oh, you're not going with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on this one? No. Yeah, go Avatar. I mean, the 3D was amazing, but it's just so I long. I never saw it in 3D. Oh. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it, we've seen a couple better ones, but at the time, it was the only good 3D movie they ever put out. But it's just like... It's fucking long as fuck, and it's like I've s I'm tired of James Cameron's movies. They're all James Cameron the fuck out. Uh, he's like he cares more about the technology of it than the the actual fucking story. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly versus Sleepless in Seattle. This sucks. Yeah, this is fucking it's whatever. Like the bullshit. Good fucking rom -com western versus, versus bullshit rom-com that they did like you've got mail and like probably another one it seems like tom hanks went through it a rom-com heavy phase yeah in the 90s just making women cry just, oh, i love tom cruise or hanks whatever well, joe versus the volcano yeah also a rom-com but with not, Meg Ryan, not as where they played multiple. Well, I she mean, I guess all of them. Money era. Pit is technically a rom com too. The Burbs, not really, not really, no. But yeah, he was. He definitely. 
I mean, that was like early. Those are earlier. Like his 90s, he went until he hit uh, Forrest Gump. Philadelphia is where. Well, really yeah, I guess. No, that's. He got AIDS and stuff. I never the saw Philadelphia, guns. but it seems like it was kind of a dark rom com. <laughs> there was no, there was no rom. It's not a dark comedy. There was no, uh, there was no com. In well, that. didn't he get? That's how he got AIDS. With it was the rom. He was too romantic in the butt butt, right? I, I don't. I never saw the movie. I just, I just know he had AIDS. And it's like I don't want to see Tom Hanks with AIDS. And that's super early. I like don't, Denzel. Yeah, being, I don't want to see. I, I don't give a shit. And the uh, only reason I've seen Sleepless in Seattle is because I was raised by a woman and fucking cable in one room. So it's like, okay, I guess this is on. Or she'd rent it. I don't know. <sighs> Good, bad, and the ugly. Sure. Well, these people get shot. In sure. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Clint Eastwood. No. And I never really have. No. You always seem like the guy that I should. Like, oh, Dirty Harry and Westerns. But I don't give a shit about that stuff. Uh, the Simpsons movie... Versus a Christmas story. A um, Christmas story. A Christmas story. I was never a Simpsons person. I love, but the movie just was weak as shit. Yeah, I yeah. No, I love out of like I love early Simpsons cartoons. Yeah, and I'm like talking early as in like first ten years. Yeah. Uh, but the Simpsons movie was just a long time. They've probably been going for thirty years so almost. Close to, but the Simpsons movie was okay. But a Christmas story is a classic. Yeah, it gets played out because. It's on all the time during the holidays. Hours on one channel, yeah. TBS every. Although Christmas. I haven't watched it in a long time, so it hasn't been continuously played out. Like all, I mean, just during the holidays, every there's this movie, and then there's probably like a ton of other Christmas shit. Christmas that just, Vacation, which that one's fine, but I, I mean, I don't. I'm still. I watch tired that, of that one. one. Yeah. yeah, I'll watch that. But it's like I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna have it on loop in the background for a day, like. That's just horrible. And it's always when there's a bunch of people around. So it's like you're getting brainwashed into like what's going on. I'm dealing with all these people. Uh, but I have like the – I mean movies from TV shows generally suck. X-Files compared to the show. Compared to X-Files, the- this one I would imagine from what I heard and from what – you know, uh, great movie still. But the South Park movie, not nearly as good as the show. Um I don't know other ones. Entourage, There's probably other ones. Yeah, for Sex sure. Sex City. I, I don't. I never. I that one. I don't know. I think people like that. The second one, maybe not. That one may have been one of the best. But that's just because it's like, it was like very much of a, a culture. I of watched like a lo- I used to watch female. a little bit of the show when it first came on, but it was just because I still lived with my parents and we had HBO. And every show, someone would get banged, and there'd be right. tits somewhere. Yeah, I tried to get into it just because we it's on demand. But yeah. it's like I don't give a shit about any no, of this. this. Is just this is made for twenty year old women or thirty year old women. Yeah, or thirty. Well, yeah, late twenties, early thirties. Christmas Story. Yep. You shoot your eye out. Uh, Training Day versus the Lord of the Rings: The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the first the one. The first one. Training, training day. day. This came same year. Wow. Same year. Training Day. Training Day was the first big movie to hit after 9-11. Like, it, movies did not do well after 9-11 until Training Day came out. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I'm confused about their poster. Uh, American High? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Maybe that's what it's it was It's probably like a bonus. Some... I bet that's a cover for like a bonus. Oh, like the bonus DVD, DVD you can get the, or something. Special edition or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like tagged as under that name. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, so the first one, versus Little Shop of Horrors. I got to go Harold and Kumar. Yeah. Not a big... I mean, Shop of Horrors is a musical, right? Yeah. I'm just, I think I've seen it once. I know I've seen it once. It's got it's got our boy Honey Rick I Shrunk Moranis. the Kids, yeah. Um, you but just it's not shitting all over Rick Moranis today. I just see it. shitting right in his little listen, mouth. Listen, man. Listen, I don't know how big his mouth is, but if Ghostbusters comes up, I'm coming all over everything. Rick Moranis all day, and Honey I Shrunk the Kids could beat some shit. Just uh, it wasn't gonna beat whatever the fuck it was matched up with the first time. Uh, but Harold Kumar, 
despite finding out that neither of them actually smoke weed, um, I really like the first one. Cal Penn ended up being like working at the White House for yeah. like the past four or five years. I don't know how long he did, but he f- did go work there yeah. when he got elected. When uh, Obama. that was like when he first got elected. Yeah. Um, yeah, Harold and Kumar. Ooh, Happy Feet versus it's gonna be a tough one. Back to the Future Two. Back to the Future Two. Widely regarded as the worst movie ever made. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, Back to the Future Two. Happy Feet's gonna beat Back to the Future Two. Get the fuck out of here. Happy Feet, directed by Tarantino. George Miller. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the director of Mad Max Fury. All the Mad Max movies. Uh. Shakespeare, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, or plus Juliet, the uh, 2006, 1996, makes more sense, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie versus Memento. Mom. I should get a Memento tattoo. A Mementos? Just a Memento tattoo. It just says Memento. And it's like, why do you have that? Because it's... Th- I mean that's the so perfect I, movie so I don't title. Fucking forget. So I remember the name of that movie that I liked with Duh. tattoos on it. It's ironic, people. Now, do you get it so other people can read it, or do you get it so you can read it? Like? Oh, it's got to be backwards. That would be even better. And and to connect it to art, do uh, I think it was Da Vinci used to write his notes backwards. Yeah. So I do it in that script saying memento. That would actually look better because he had nice. Hand, I mean, it looked cool. His handwriting. Well, some some of them they were in all different types of handwriting. They were well, all, his. I'm just talking about uh, Da Vinci's handwriting. Oh, Da Vinci. When he would yeah. write his notes, that's what the that's the font I would get it in. Um, Memento for sure. Memento. Mementos. Yeah. Let's do like four or five more. All right. Let's do four more. Four more for the July. Oh, actually, let's do six more since it's technically. This or no, it's the fifth. It's the fifth. I don't remember. It's coming out the sixth. Uh, yeah, that's right. Apocalypse Now versus Sleepy Hollow Later. Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now. now. I, I don't care about Sleepy Hollow. No. It's one of those movies. Saw it. Done. No no desire to see it again. You just told me back in and like right before and I saw it for free. Before that came out, yeah. they're like you're gonna be like, hey, or put Johnny Depp and Christopher Walken in a in a sweet ass movie. I'd be like, but it wasn't a sweet ass movie. I know. Well, it's that's like, what any p- person who made the movie would say, and I'd be like, that sounds cool. Yeah. And then it but came out. But if you said the director, like, then I'd be like, oh, I know his style. No thanks. I'm I'm good. Uh, the Parent Trap. I have not seen the remake. I've seen the original. Uh, Meaning of Life. Pretty sure. I don't think I've seen Meaning of Life. I uh, just say yeah. I've seen either. Life of Brian and Holy Grail. Payback, the sequel to Ransom versus Wedding Crashers, the prequel to Step Brothers. Science. Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers is not the prequel to Step Brothers. Yeah, well, Payback's not the sequel to Ransom either. Might as well. I was just going with it. I'm going Wedding Crashers. Uh, the prequel to Big Brothers. Our stepbrothers. Well, because I was thinking when he was when he went and met with the Will Ferrell's character yeah. in there, I was like, wait, is that? Is it? <laughs> is it the same guy? Mommy <laughs> Loaf! Yeah. I mean, it could be. Could be. Shit. It's going to be like, uh, they don't have a Jay and Silent Bob, but it's all like, Kevin Smith movies, they're all the same universe. The Buescu verse. Uh JFK versus Good Morning Vietnam. This is weird. Both right around the same time. Yeah. Both. Um I was super into the JFK assassination assassinations Shash- when that came Shash- out. Shash- I think there were some shows that were on or later. It was at some point there were like a bunch of shows. It was like conspiracy theory shows. Yeah, got super. I wrote my senior thesis <gasps> project thing for English class. I think it was senior year. I wrote on the JFK assassination. How it was like 
but I just copied fucking something I saw on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Like, oh, this is good shit. <laughs> uh, I love Good Morning Vietnam. I'm well, a fan I of that. That's all right. I like it a lot. And it's like, it's a toned down Robin Williams, which is nice, you know, because usually he's very, especially then, he yeah. was like, boing, boing, boing. this is like kind of, although he did do the uh, Dead Poet Society, which was super toned down too. And that was probably around that time. But yeah, I love Good Morning Vietnam. So I'm going with that. I'm I'm fine with yeah. First JFK I liked, but it's like, man, I don't know if I ever need to watch that again. <laughs> but I'll watch Good Morning Vietnam for sure. I don't even know how many we've done yet. We've done one. Okay. Mr. Deeds versus Alice in Wonderland, the Disney 1951 animated movie. Um, I mean, for sure, Alice in Wonderland. For sure. One of, one of my favorite. For some reason, Disney in the 50s had seemed like they had their shit together. Yeah. They did Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Uh, well, they just did it. They had a lot. Like, like Sleeping four. Beauty was another one around that time. Bambi probably was around that time. Uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood was probably a little bit later, but I'd short after like that 50s. time. Yeah. Jungle Book. They had a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of classic shit. I, I bet a lot of those were like 60s, though, or a few of those. Uh, as Good As It Gets Again versus Big Daddy. I can wipe my own ass. Hip Hop Anonymous? Uh, Big Daddy, for sure. Yeah. I didn't mind Big Daddy. I like Big Daddy. I guess that movie won a bunch of Razzies that year. That's weird. That's what I thought when it's I like, heard it. It's like, why would you... Comedy, I mean, clearly... I don't know. That's weird. Uh, like, the least boring performance by Adam Sandler. is like, what? The, I got it. Uh, I'm not seeing Breaking the Waves. N- nor have I. I have peed into a 40 in the theater while watching Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I, Cape Fear. I saw people in a movie theater almost piss their pants in Cape Fear. Um, sure. I didn't see Cape Fear in the theater, but no, I did. There's a scene in Cape Fear uh, in right, the theater, right, 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 where he's smoking a cigar and yeah. just laughing out loud, and people are like, "Hey!" And he's yeah. like, "What?" The? <laughs> and they they almost pissed their pants. Right. Right. Um. I had to go Cape Fear. Yep. I like Jane Silent Bob. That's one no, of my it's favorite. A, it's it's pro- it's I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorite Kevin Smith movies that I like to revisit. Kind of almost like when they were self-referent and mall rats. And like, oh, we're just Oh yeah. It's like, oh, let's be ridiculous yeah. with it. And Will Ferrell's great in it. I mean, it's just a fun. It was just a fun movie. That's when it was like, oh, it's a universe. Uh, yeah, Cape Fear. Two more. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, Space Jam versus Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I mean, for sure, Space Emperor's Jam? New Groove. No way. I have, I don't give a fuck about Space Jam. I love Michael Jordan. Don't get me wrong. Emperor's New Groove is so much fun. David Spade and Kronk. I understand. You have an affinity for this. I do. I, it's one of those movies that I watched a zillion times drunk, you know, pass out, friend's house the fucking thing so i've seen it because it's a funny movie it's just it's a fun movie first space jam i watched that once as a child i was like i'm good i don't need to see i don't need to see warner brother characters play basketball there was a lot of basketball movies around then too like give me the one with billy crystal where he's the ref i'll watch that shit emperor's new groove all day <laughs> i gotta go space jam what I mean, I'll go to the judges, but this is ridiculous. Space Jam. <laughs> Ugh. Thirty-seven wow. percent. It's disappointing that. Wow. All right. Versus uh, Emperor's Emperor. New Groove. Oops. Emperor's New Groove coming in at 85%. It's almost the opposite percentage 
Almost, not quite. Mm. Yeah. Space Jam's fucking <laughs> gimmick shit. Oh, let's just put it'd be I'm sure LeBron with animated characters is in the in the works. Oh, probably. The Fugitive versus Beverly Hills Ninja, our last pick of this Ultimate Movie Championship. The Fugitive. The one our man did it. Yeah. I like Beverly Hills Ninja, but I didn't. It's not I thought my it was, favorite Fairly I thought, or Farley. Uh, Chris Farley movie. I thought it was stupid. Like, and I loved Chris Farley, yeah. and I, I, it was. I loved by how stupid far it was. The most stupid. Oh yeah, for sure. I Adam mean, he's a fat ninja. Fat white. You ninja. couldn't do it until uh, Kung Fu Panda. Could you have a fat ninja? And that's Kung Fu and not ninjutsu. So I'm a fucking racist it was right so, there. It was uh, such a terrible movie, too. I mean, it was just like all of those fucking Saturday Night Live movies were all bad movies. It's just some of them had funny shit happen in them. Wayne's World wasn't bad. No, funny shit happened. But it's like it's they're all as far as production quality. They're all like the same kind of like shitty TV I don't quality. Even, I don't believe this was a Saturday Night Live character movie, though. But it still kind of has that same feel. It does have They're that not, same feel. You're not seeing, like, they weren't doing anything but it's not different like, between, like, Night at the Roxbury and fucking... Superstar. You know, superstar and all that shit. Uh, but yeah, Fugitive. I liked the ladies, man. I didn't like that. I didn't like a lot of them. All right, that's it, people. Go get yourself some amazing coffee from our sponsor, Station House Coffee, on Instagram, stationhousecoffee.com, on the web. Uh, go order yourself some small batch, single origin, premium coffee straight from Vermont. Let's support some small businesses, shall we? Shall we do that in this time of economic crisis? We support our small businesses and get ourselves a nice bag of roasted premium coffee to grind and run water through it and drink it and get all the benefits that you get. From drinking coffee, like waking up, staying up, staying alert, get your mind right, get your body right, get yourself some Station House Coffee. Follow them on Instagram, stationhousecoffee.com. Make sure you follow Keith Spurlock on Twitter, at Keith Spurlock1. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!